Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Gemini, it's Dana. Welcome to the channel, and I mean that literally. Welcome to the channel. I recently um, added Gemini to the mix. I read for Taurus, Pisces, and now Taurus, Pisces, and Gemini because the channel took a vote, and in the end, Gemini won out. So we're going to start doing regular reads here for Gemini. Okay, I don't blow up YouTube with all kinds of videos, but if you want to know when I'm coming back, hit the dinghy bell and subscribe to the channel, yeah? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So if you only see like 223 views on this video, that's why. <laughs> that's why. If it was Taurus, it would be 8,000, right? But it's uh, new. So it, we're new to the channel here with Gemini. So let's do it. Let's do it. Spirit. Oh, if you're new to the channel, come on in. Come on in. Get comfortable. Pull you up a chair. We're going to talk about some things. If you're returning to the channel, you know exactly what to expect. Help yourself to the, anything that's in the kitchen. Have a seat and let's do this. All right. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I clarify it. And I'm going to sew together a story. Okay. So bear with me. And let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Gemini here with me, Spirit. And Gemini wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Gemini? And what do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, tell me where the stopping point is for Gemini. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from ooh right there the top all right let's do it let's go one two three one two and three three cups on the bottom of the deck fantastic you know I just can't see myself like that I apologize but I gotta move this all right Three cups on the bottom of the deck, followed by the three of wands, double threes, right? Empress in reverse and the ten of cups to the nine of swords in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. That's going to make a lot of sense to you in just a second. All right, let's do this. Seven of wands in reverse, refusing to deal with something. Let's see. To the four of cups, contemplation, reevaluation, the princess of pentacles, some kind of new manifestation, the five of swords in reverse, letting go of a mindset, and the hangman, P possibly new perspectives. Yeah, I think so, because of the queen of swords right there, right? Gemini. To the two of swords in reverse at a crossroads, eight of cups in reverse in the center of the reading, to the ace of cups in reverse, and the fool in reverse. All right, then. All right, then. Remember, I told you I was going to confuse you, so bear with me, all right? It'll be worth it. Six of wands in reverse, a lack of success, the ten of swords, betrayal, deception, endings, the seven of pentacles, reflecting and assessing, to the four of swords in reverse, um, mentally restless, worried, the emperor in reverse, the ten of pentacles in reverse, the prince of wands in reverse, the hierophant in reverse, the wheel in reverse, and the eight of swords, holy schmoly, to death in reverse, the queen of wands in reverse, the lovers in reverse, and the nine of wands. What the heck is going on here? All right, let's make some sense out of all of this, you guys. Let's make some sense. Let me fix y'all right there, okay? All right, let's do this. So the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in the upright is someone that is backing up from an issue. Seven of wands in the reverse is someone who is refusing to deal with an issue. So tell me what this is about. The five of cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, and the king of wands, some kind of success to the seven of swords. All righty. The four of cups. All right, Gemini. This is what's going on right here, right now, 
right here. All right. We open up with the seven of wands in reverse. This is someone that is not dealing with something. Okay. Not dealing with something. The four of cups. Four of cups is about, I got this. I got this. Okay. I don't need to deal with this situation. I got it compartmentalized in my emotions. I am, I, I don't need to deal with it. And the fourth cup is saying, no, oh, Gemini, I think you do need to deal with it. There needs to be some stability brought to your emotional processes. I think you do need to, de to deal with it. What is this Gemini um, refusing to deal with? Well, the five of cups, your emotions, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. So something has happened in some kind of situation in your life where you have lost something and or are extremely emotionally disappointed in it, okay? The King of Wands. King of Wands comes on top of this and talks about an, a, a want to conquer, a need to conquer, a need to take control and be focused. Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, getting away with something, no shortcut. Hold on. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Not giving, receiving, or sharing in the prosperity of life with another. Five of Cups, right? Loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. But the guy in this card is focusing on what he doesn't have. He's not necessarily focusing on what he does have, okay? So sure, spilt milk. This is this card's about crying over spilt milk, right? So this particular Gemini is harboring in their emotions spilt milk, okay? All right. This King of Wands comes on top of this and talks about overcoming this. Um, it's about focus. It's about passion. It's about conquering. It's about overcoming. For you to have some kind of success in your life, you need to conquer this. Seven of Swords. Gemini thinks that uh, this person screwed them over. Screwed them over, screwed them over, screwed them over. And that's why they are refusing to acknowledge it. That's why the Five of Cups is there, right? Gemini feels screwed over by this person. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And this Gemini is saying, hell no. Nope, I am not giving, receiving. This person's greedy. This person is whatever this person is. But I am not, I am not going to participate with this person at all. Seven of Swords, though, also says that there is no shortcut for you, Gemini. You have to address this situation in order to move forward in your life. Princess of Pentacles, manifestation of a new opportunity between the two of you to the Five of Wands in reverse once you stop avoiding responsibility. The responsibility of what? Of dealing with the situation. Five of Swords in reverse, let go of a white knuckle grip on a win at all costs mindset. Hierophant, Hierophant, hangman, and step into a position of analyzation through a new perspective so you can cut yourself loose from the tree. Okay, what's the new perspective? The Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. Somehow this situation that you are not dealing with has to do with some kind of obligation, responsibility, contract, commitment, family of some sort, foundational kind of stuff to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. So what this tells me is that part of that five of cups right there and also part of that four of cups is Gemini not wanting to admit that this situation or relationship is extremely important to them, but they feel very, very screwed over and they just have a white knuckle grip on this mindset. This is what happened. This is the way it went down. This is what happened. This is my perspective, hangman. This is my perspective. And this is what it's about. And I am firmly and completely going to dig my heels into the ground and I am not going to go forward. Major Arcana, though, the first one in this whole reading. Hangman says it's time for a new perspective to the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups because somehow this relationship is important to your life. All right. Queen of Swords, Gemini themselves right there. The Queen of Swords, right? It's time to make some serious 
decisions. It's time to see Hangman in reverse, this whole situation from a different perspective. Get control of your mind, Five of Swords in reverse again, and let go of the white knuckle grip that you have on this mindset. Two of swords in reverse because you're not seeing clearly. You are at a crossroads that you don't quite understand to the eight of wands in reverse. And the longer you stay at this crossroads and not take any action with that eight of wands, the longer you are going to be in a state of discomfort because I do believe that this particular Gemini is definitely in a state of discomfort. That's why they're shoving it down with the four of cups right there, right? Yeah, tell me a little bit more, give me one more. Yeah, the moon in reverse. Come to terms. Come to terms with yourself. The moon is the Achilles heel of all human beings. It's the struggle between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we really don't want to accept as the truth. You know in your guts, being double major arcana right here, that this relationship is important and that there needs to be a new perspective from you about this situation, but you don't want a new perspective because you feel like you were screwed over. Why knuckle grip on the screwed over, right? The moon in reverse says, come to terms with this, Gemini. Eight of cups in reverse. What is the big, 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 big problem here for Gemini? Well, eight of cups in reverse. Gemini feels emotionally abandoned, okay? Gemini feels like this person didn't take into consideration them, their feelings, or their anything at all. Ace of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings, repressed emotions. Maybe this situation has triggered in this particular Gemini some kind of unresolved uh, childhood emotional woundings that you might want to pay attention to because we are responsible for our own triggers, right? We can't walk around being triggered all over the place. We got to figure out what those triggers are and why so we can um, disengage the firearm, right? I don't know if YouTube let me say that, but there you go. To the seven of wands in reverse because you haven't dealt with it. This situation is tied directly to your childhood experiences. I guarantee you this situation is a Gemini trigger for this particular person. If you want your own cards read, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and we can dive into the nitty gritty details of all of this. The Fool in Reverse. Fool in Reverse, Major Arcana, says this is silly. Silly. It's off track. It's off target. You're not going in the way of the best. You're not going in the path of your best and highest good. It's foolishness for you to spend time in this situation. Knight of Swords. Communicate. Wrap your mind around this understanding and execute it in your life because you're wasting time. Figure out what this childhood wounding is, why this situation triggered it so bad, and heal yourself. To the Six of Wands in reverse, lack of success to the Ten of Swords. This is Gemini saying this would never work. I could never go back to this relationship. I could never make amends in this situation. Um, it is betrayal, deception, and it ended badly. And there's just no way that this whole situation could ever be better again. And then the Queen of Swords again comes on top of it and says, Gemini, see what's happening here. Childhood triggers, woundings, this whole thing is related in whatever this situation is with this other person, place, or thing, Seven of Pentacles. They want you to take a step back and reevaluate how you're going about doing it. Okay? How you're how you're how you're doing this. Four of Swords in reverse talks about being mentally restless because it bothers you. If it didn't bother you, we wouldn't be having this reading right here. You wouldn't be on YouTube listening this far into this reading if this wasn't bothering you. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords in reverse, mentally restless about what? The Five of Pentacles to the Four of Cups in reverse to the Page of Pentacles, that this person is not going to be receptive to any kind of amends, okay? That this person is going to reject your outreach, 
Okay, they're going to be emotionally apathetic to it and the Page of Pentacles, to any kind of new opportunity. Why? Well, you see this person as the emperor in reverse, okay? Egocentric, self-centered, no one's best interest at heart but their own, okay? But let's hope this isn't the Gemini, okay? Let's hope it's not the Gemini, all right? To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups in reverse. To the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse again, the Prince of Wands in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, all right. So what these cards are saying right here, let's move them where you can see them, okay? What these cards are saying right here is that perhaps this person owes you money, okay? Perhaps this person owes you money, screwed you over, and um, that's what this is about. Perhaps this person took some kind of foundation from you. Maybe you broke up with a roommate or you broke up with um, a relationship and they, they took something from you, okay? I, feel, I get a strong feeling of taking from you. Okay, and then the Three of Cups in reverse comes on top of this and talks about third party interference. And then the Three of Pentacles in the upright talks about teamwork and collaboration and then the Seven of Cups. So perhaps you are wondering if you should reach out to someone associated with this person in order to soften the 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 to, to, to test the waters right to test the waters to see if this person would even be receptive um perhaps there was some kind of third party situation for some of you where it caused divorce or separation or a losing of a job or something like that okay okay ten of pentacles in reverse again um this is this is the loss of legacy Perhaps this is a child that you cut off. Perhaps this is a parent that you've cut off. Um, perhaps this is something in your life. It, it, it is. It's not perhaps. Something in your life that has caused you a great deal of um, woundedness. Okay? Prince of Wands in reverse. Not taking any action. No inspired action. The Hierophant in reverse. To mend this situation. Remember the hangman, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Cups as new perspective, right? Not doing anything to do anything about this. The Ace of Swords says, have an aha moment. See with the sun that the path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is to do something about this. Do something about this because it is a deep subconscious blockage in your life. The wheel of fortune. You are manifesting something that is not in your best and highest good. It's not. You're not dealing with it. You are not admitting that your hurt feelings about the situation. You have a, 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 a win at all costs, white knuckle grip on a mindset that says, I got screwed over. I got screwed in this situation and I am not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to in this somehow what happened in this situation has triggered something from some emotional childhood wounding and you got to go in and see what that wounding is connect the dots to the way that this situation has made you feel and react and heal yourself by making peace with this situation the wheel in reverse because we can't intervene in your free will if you continuously mess some if you continuously manifest something that is not in your best and highest good we can't help you the ace of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck um, a lack of, of, of inspiration, nine of swords in reverse, to see any other perspective towards this situation or do anything about this situation. The ten of cups to the empress in reverse. Perhaps this is family. I feel strongly that this is family of somehow or, or some kind of significant um, caring kind of thing, right? Uh, empress in reverse to the ten of cups. Maybe your kids have cut you off. And you're mad about this whole situation. Empress in reverse, most importantly, says that you ain't doing it right, Gemini. The Empress is the dirt of life. 
She is the third highest in the, all of the tarot because she's made from lesson one and lesson two. The Empress in the Upright understands that her internal self-narrative creates her reality. If it's creating the kind of reality that she's not completely and totally content with, then she needs to begin to change her internal self-narrative, and she does. She understands that the High Priestess is her soul leading and guiding her in the direction of her best and highest good, her true north, every time, all the time. And she's the dirt of life, the fertility of the tarot, because all things grow from those two understandings. In the reverse, Gemini is in her flesh. She's, she's in the reverse because you're not handling your mind, you're not manifesting appropriately, and you're not following your intuition. Remember the moon, right? Uh-huh. Three of wands. Have some foresight. See the forest through the trees. Prepare yourself. Find that trigger. Prepare yourself for reconciliation to the three of cups. Reconciliation right getting together talking things out and uh coming to terms with your own bullshit gemini so you can bring to resolve something that is occupying a large portion of your subconscious mind you can't manifest your life if your subconscious mind is occupied by bullshit bottom of the deck the nine of wands fight the good fight fight the good fight fight the good fight lovers in reverse queen of wands in reverse the situation with this person in your life right being angry being salty being unsuccessful in this relationship death in reverses there needs to be an internal transformation in you gemini there needs to be some inner purging inside of you, the childhood wounding, the trigger. There needs to be connection made and some purging because you are trapped in your own mind in a place of denial and in a place of refusal to dig up why this situation hurts you so bad. And the wheel in reverse. Until you do that, until there's internal purging, this whole piece of your subconscious mind will remain blocked. Your whole life needs this real estate in order to progress forward. So clear this real estate, come to terms with this situation. Nobody says you gotta be BFFs and be all up in each other's business all the time, but there needs to be amends made in this situation. And perhaps the way that you feel and think about it, it might not be the only way that there is to think and feel about it, okay? There you go, Gemini. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way and your truth will set you free.